Yo, what's up everybody? I am very, very excited to share with you the investment opportunity that I have recently put in every single dollar, basically, of my life savings, as well as selling my van, which is my only asset, and also reaching out to my community and saying, if anybody has ever thought about donating to me, now would be the best time ever. So I'm very excited to share it with you for two reasons. One, because I believe this is a potentially very lucrative financial investment for us all to make and I want to do well and I want vegans and my, my followers to do well as well. I have to also say though, this is not financial advice. Legally, I have to say that. Number two, why do I invest so much into this foundation? Because I very strongly believe in their ethos. So first of all, let me tell you how I came onto this. I have a friend, his name is Randy. He is a very, very intelligent person and I've known him for many years. I trust his opinion very, very much. He is the kind of guy who knows all the type of dry information that nobody really wants to learn. And when he goes into something, he goes deep into it. He's recently done this very thing in cryptocurrency. And the investment opportunity that I'm talking about is in cryptocurrency. It is EWT, the Energy Web Token. I'm no financial expert, aside from being my best friend's unofficial financial advisor. But you don't have to know much to know that investing your entire life savings into one single thing is the dumbest decision you could possibly make. Especially something as volatile as cryptocurrency. I'm not saying you shouldn't invest in cryptos, but failing to diversify your investments is straight up gambling. James is promoting gambling to his 96,000 followers. He places irrational trust in this friend of his. I have a friend, his name is Randy. He is a very, very intelligent person and I've known him for many years. I trust his opinion very, very much. Anyone who encourages you to sell your assets and put your entire life savings into any one thing is not intelligent. They are irresponsible and delusional. I don't care how confident and convincing they are. Don't trust these people. Don't put all your eggs in one basket. That is the number one rule of finance. You broke the number one rule, James. James could very well strike it rich here. There's no way of knowing. But if that happens, it's not because he's a genius who made a great decision. It's because he's an idiot who got incredibly lucky. I invested in this straight away when I learned about this because time is of the essence, very much so. Here's another piece of advice. Don't make huge financial decisions on a fucking whim. You might become a millionaire, but you'll probably end up broke and sad. Conveying urgency is a classic sales tactic. Without taking the time to think it through, you can fall prey to scams. And speaking of scams... If you're not already involved in the cryptocurrency realm, you want to know how to invest in this, then my recommendation would be to join our Facebook group, which is called Team Green Investment Opportunities. We're gonna teach people how to go through it step by step for $25 US. You can learn this online, you don't need to join the group, but if you just want to have someone kind of hold your hand and just take you step by step, then we're happy to do that um, for you. I have to also say though, this is not financial advice. Legally, I have to say that. Legally, he can't give financial advice. He's charging $25 for step-by-step -step guidance, but this is not advice. As one commenter put it, why do I get the feeling that your friend Randy is taking advantage of your large following to drive up the price of a crypto he's already invested in? His response, because you're a pessimist. This is a textbook example of optimism bias, the tendency to overestimate the likelihood of positive outcomes. There can be benefits to a positive attitude, but it's unwise to allow such an attitude to adversely affect our ability to make rational judgments. Wishful thinking can be a tragic irony insofar as it can create more negative outcomes, such as in the case of gambling. If you make rational, realistic judgments, you'll have a lot more to feel positive about. Cranky Vegan hit the nail on the head. What a complete scam. James Aspie tells you to donate to him for a life-changing project, which turns out to be a cryptocurrency. He took your money and invested in a get-rich-quick venture, and now he's telling you to buy into the cryptocurrency for yourself which of course would enhance his own investment, which was also your money. When it comes to investments, particularly volatile ones, only invest what you're willing to lose. Otherwise, you might need therapy for your gambling addiction later down the road. 
Also, to say that investing is always gambling is so misleading. Investing your 401k in mutual funds is generally low risk and advisable, whereas investing your entire life savings in a single cryptocurrency is insanely risky and ill-advised. He's talking out of both sides of his mouth by saying, I'm just sharing what I did, people can do whatever they want. This isn't financial advice. He is clearly encouraging people to join his Facebook group and invest. I know if James or any of his avid supporters are watching this, they probably think I'm being a hater. But listen, I don't hate James. I don't think he's a bad person. But I'm genuinely concerned for those who might be influenced by his not financial advice. I don't want you to lose your hard-earned money because you trusted some crypto enthusiast on the internet. While his intentions may be good, this is incredibly dumb. You know, some people think that I am, uh, like, on my way out, but I am most definitely just warming up, just getting started. I wear me eat them, I wonder where me eat When me tell them, say me eat no fish, no, no meat now I wear me eat them, I wonder where me yam When me tell them, say that I'm a vegan man I wear me eat them, I wonder where me eat